In today's lecture, I'm going to talk about elasticity. My name is David Longstreet. Elasticity. How sensitive are consumers to a change in price? Elasticity measures that. How much less will they buy if prices are raised? How much more will they buy if prices are lowered? Revenue is equal to price times quantity. What happens to revenue if prices are changed? When prices go up, quantity goes down. We know this from the law of demand. If prices go up and quantity goes down just a little bit, then we say that total revenue will rise. This is called inelastic demand. We have some consumers. These are our consumers. Prices go up. We're going to lose consumers, but we don't lose very many. Now, on the other hand, if prices go up a little bit and quantity just plummets, quantity demand plummets, total revenue will fall. We call that elastic demand. Again, we have some consumers. A small change in price, we lose a lot of consumers. Elastic demand. When prices change, how much does quantity change? How elastic is demand? What impacts demand? Availability of substitutes, percent of consumers' budget, time period of adjustment. Let's say you wake up in the morning and the price of gasoline has gone up. What do you do? If prices rise, then how much less gasoline will you purchase? You have to get to work. You have to get to class. You don't have many choices. You can't decrease the quantity easily. The demand for gasoline is inelastic, especially in the short run. Inelastic demand means its prices are rigid, consumption is rigid, not very flexible, and you have limited choices. Elastic means flexibility. You can easily change to another product or service. You have a lot of choices. Inelastic price and revenue. With inelastic demand, there is a positive relationship between price and total revenue. An increase in price increases total revenue. A decrease in price decreases total revenue. Elastic price and revenue. Elastic demand, there is a negative relationship between price and total revenue. Increase in price decreases total revenue. Decrease in price increases total revenue. Look at this little table here. If prices go down and revenue goes up, we call it elastic demand. If prices go down and revenue goes down, that's inelastic. If prices go down and revenue remains flat or unchanged, we call that unitary demand. Now, if prices go up and revenue goes down, we say that's elastic. If prices go up and revenue goes up, it's inelastic. If prices go up and there's no change in revenue, that's unitary elasticity. Let's look at a couple products. For example, salt is generally inelastic. There's not very good substitutes. Coffee, in my opinion, is inelastic. There's not very good substitutes. But a particular brand of coffee can be elastic. That means I have a lot of choices when I go to the store to actually buy a particular product. That is elasticity in a nutshell. And I'm going to provide some equations in the lecture I will be posting in a couple days. And again, my name is David Longstreet, and thanks for watching.